So I'm just on Bethnal Green Road. Um, and as I turn left here, going to Wilmot Street. So this was um, an air raid shelter place where basically the East End gathered. And uh, I think about 1940, 1941, this was where the Ronnie and Reggie Cray and uh, came to, to be safe basically. You, know, you can imagine what it was like, air raid sounds on a night, having to get underground and just get off the street. But uh, this is where it was here. Very much right in the, the heart of Cray territory. I mean, I'm not really fascinated with the story as much as I used to be. Um, I think what made them special is there were two. And of course, the, they had a very unique name. But uh, yeah, I think I don't get into the hero worship. You know, the people with tattoos and pictures. And don't get me wrong, it's an incredibly intriguing, fascinating story. But uh, yeah, it's, it's not, you know, I don't... Uh, I think it's romanticised a lot. It's the the portrayed a lot nicer than they are. I know personally from writing books on certain, you know, former criminals that there's none of that East End. There's none of that kind of code. No women, no children. You know, we only hurt our own. That's complete crap. Uh, yeah. You know, I I, uh, I was in Polici's, which is further down here. And um, I was with, about 10 years back, I was with a, a guy who was signing pro with Frank Warren. And I seen these elderly gentlemen. And uh, they were going there, and then they were popping to Bethnal Green Workingmen's Club. And uh, they said they're an absolute pair of bastards. But because it's cool, and the Kemps have played them, and Tom Hardy's played them, it's kind of seen as morally okay, when really they were low lives. 